Hello guys and welcome back to From the Depths, episode number 13. Yeah, that's right, lucky number 13. Today, we are going to work on consolidating our ships into fewer ships, but massive awesome ships. Because, like, I'm just sitting here after our last battle, just chilling here, thinking about things, scratching my head, looking at my oil resource, and, uh, and it is quite, it, it is taking a hit. It's taking a hit from having all these small engines running. Uh, these little engines, uh, they are, we have made them a lot more efficient, but if you go ahead and look at them here, their efficiency is, uh, where is this, fuel per power usage, it's 003. Now, if we had a huge engine that was about, like, maybe five or, uh, or seven crankshafts long, uh, the efficiency would be off the chart. It'd be, like, some kind of, like, exponent or whatever. So, like, so, like, if we could get a larger engine, which is more efficient, and have more guns on that kind of ship, it would be more efficient overall. We'd have more firepower for less oil resource used. So that is what I want to do today. And, uh, because we need more ships. We need tons of ships, and we need to have them, uh... We need to have them now, <laughs> because if you look at the map, we've got some serious threats. I mean, we got this juicy target right here we found last time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look, 104. Look at that. That's nothing to, uh, that's nothing to laugh at. There's definitely going to be some sort of an assault coming from the Onyx Guard one of these days. I mean, uh, actually, you know what? We're friendly. But you know what? I don't believe, I don't believe computers. I don't trust them. So, <laughs> the AI can turn at us at any moment, I could feel. And we got to have a good force building up here. And, uh, and we need firepower, and we need, since, since we're running low on oil, we're going to need to have that through battle cruisers. So that is what we're going to make today. And also, we're going to do some fighting, of course. We're not just going to make battle cruisers, but I'm going to show you something I've been designing, uh, a deadly weapon. So here we are, just chilling out in the designer. And I have, some, uh, I have some designs going on here for guns. Basically, an upgraded version of our, of our gun that we use on the double fishes. Uh, I have increased the gauge three times. One, two, three. Got way more armor-piercing rounds on this guy. Uh, I think I have about, what, four, six? About six boxes on here uh, on each one. So, so pretty much uh, every other shot is pretty much armor-piercing, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And it can still shoot for like three and a half minutes straight if it uh, if it needed to with with ammo being generated so so yeah so we got we got some decent uh <laughs> we got some decent firepower here and all these weapons that you're looking at right here I want to put on our battle cruiser maybe just one of these rockets and both of these guns is the way I have this laid out here so you guys can see uh, all these ammo barrels and these ammo processors here are required for this for this thing to run efficiently and for these, for this one to be shooting, you just need two ammo processors and two ammo barrels, and this this can keep up with the uh, with the rate of fire, uh, and all that stuff like re resupplying the ammo. So so these take up so much more ammo, so much more uh, just resource to to shoot. And uh, I don't know, I guess they're just good for like stunning flying airplanes, uh, just so just so the guns can get to them. So I'm thinking about maybe just having one, maybe not two of these. Uh, and then two of these guns, of course, two guns like this on our battle cruiser. I might decide to put them together uh, as one gun, ro uh, rotating on a, on I guess uh, like a turret, or maybe I'll have them ingrained. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But also, I found out a cool little trick. Check this out, guys. So if you're uh, if you're testing and building and, and all that kind of stuff, you can go ahead and save. Uh, if you can go to you just select your thing to build on, and you go to prefabs. Actually, no, you go to Save Object, you click on an empty spot, and then you go to, what the heck is it? I, th I think you double click it. Yeah, you double click it, and then we could just say, like, I don't know, like, test or something. Uh, so it saved this test, the thing that I was just uh, building on, and then check this, check this stuff out. Okay, so we'll go to Constructibles, no, Save Object. All right, so we'll load this. Actually, no, I don't want to save it again. All right, here we go. So get out of this. So we're just kind of going back into build mode. Then we go to constructibles. All right, load load this guy up. All right, see, so now we have a yellow square, and now wherever we go, we just like pop it. See, and it's it's just like it makes for a quick, easy building. <laughs> so we can just plop these things all over the place. We can have like a, a massive array of guns uh, all over here. So let's do <laughs> let's do some uh, let's do some shoot testing here. Okay, so here's the little design I was looking at here. I was just kind of throwing some stuff together. This is still uh, a work in progress, but uh. But yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to make it smaller, a little uh, smaller profile, but I think these guns are going to go on that ship with that rocket launcher. This will be our official battle cruiser of, uh, of our force. It's going to be cool. I'm not going to have this many ammo barrels in here. I was just doing some testing. But yeah, it's going to be something like that. 
And let's go ahead and do a little test here. Let's do a little, uh, let's do our usual, the usual. So, uh, see these guns are shooting, uh, two per second. Lots of armor piercing rounds. We got some missiles going here. Yeah, see, so I, I found out you don't want guns to shoot too fast either. Because if they shoot too fast... Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Oh, I didn't even put a, a laser on this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, though. The guns are doing good on their own. We don't even need a missile. <laughs> missile to hit that guy. Okay. Yeah, so this ship's going to be awesome. Pretty much almost every shot is armor piercing coming out of these guns. And, uh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, just about every shot's armor piercing. This is awesome. And there are only seven boxes on here for armor piercing. And that's, uh, that's working out really good. It's working out awesome. Okay, so I'll get back to you guys when I've finished this baddie over here. Okay, guys, so here is the finished hull design for our battle cruiser. Yes. I know it doesn't look like much, but there's, uh, there's a lot going on here. It's, uh, let me open it up for you guys. Starting with the mainframe down here, I got it right in the front. I mean, I've got like layer upon layer of walls, and even the bottom, I've got like uh, <laughs> like two thick bottom, three thick walls in some spots. It's pretty secure down here. And uh, yes, yeah, so we got the mainframe, and I have a, a five-way, uh, five-point connection just going, but they're cheaper. I have them going to a local weapon controller here. That's going to control our main guns. And then I got them going back here. I know I could have done this wirelessly, but I just felt like hardwiring all this stuff up. And we're going to have a missile launcher here and a missile launcher here. And yeah, so we got these three points where these metal blocks are. That's where we'll put the, uh, the turrets. Got our engine over here, like seven, uh, seven crankshaft long. 14 ammo barrels, a whole, I think, 10 ammo processors. So it's a little more than, than we needed, but I squeezed them all in there like that because it's even. Uh, two fuel tanks, one fuel processor. That's it. Boom. So I'm going to go ahead and add the guns that we were just uh, messing around with. And then... We will break down uh, our small little ships and then build this in the grand campaign. Oh yeah, rock on. All right, we all heading back to base. Whoa, don't hit me. Hang on. Okay, here we go. We're all, ah. Oh gosh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> that doesn't look good. Plane got stuck in the base as we're all coming back. Oh gosh. Oh, nice. So the, uh, okay, so the, the. Okay, well this guy's a little stuck. <laughs> Let's see if we could free him. All right, let me get me out of the seat. Get me out of the seat. Okay, so I have finished our uh, our battle cruiser I've put the guns on it it is awesome this thing kind of scares me right here maybe I could just kick it up push it up a little bit I don't know maybe uh, I'll, I'll figure that guy out later but yeah so it looks like we have tons of resources to make this thing actually we can make it right now without even deconstructing anything but I think we'll go ahead and deconstruct some stuff anyway and oh my gosh I'm so excited for this thing guys you guys haven't seen it yet you haven't seen the guns I put on there but they are slightly better than the ones that we were uh, that we were looking at. <laughs> I always gotta do something to them. Alright, uh, max distance. I don't know, like 20? It's a pretty long boat. It's got four uh, repair bots on it. And, uh, and it's super shooty. I actually decided to take the missiles off of it. Just because, like, they were just getting in the way, honestly, of, like, the awesome cannons I put on it. So, I was just like, yeah, see? Oh, this is, this is a good example. See, so I put the, uh, the mainframe on there. With the typical chips. Actually, uh, the, the barrels on the gun are more accurate now, so I have the uh, local weapon controller shooting at 600 now instead of a range of 500. And I have this, uh, the, the nav computer uh, doing a circle at a... Well, I'll show you details later in action. Uh-oh. Looks like we're kind of in the dock. Hopefully nothing explodes. But yeah, I'm kind of worried about this guy here. Uh, let me see if I can do something about him. <laughs> All right, now we're cooking. Yeah. So we got the, uh, I actually just had to destroy and remake the buzzard just because, I don't know, it was just really stuck, which is fine. I'll destroy, remake it, you don't lose anything. But we have this something cruising out here. Here we go. Yeah. Look at this bad boy. He is a sniper, super duper shooter killer. That's what he is. <laughs> he has uh, super long range, super accurate, and uh, he takes no prisoners, and he's got four repair bots. He's pretty much just like solid wooden uh, planks here. He's just like... He's got like three wide in some spots here, like one, two, three wide wall. Uh, it's just like super armored. He's hardwired into the mainframe here. Uh, no missiles at all. Because I was just like, I don't know, like like those la laser uh, designator receivers, like those, those lasers, I don't know where to put them. They always get like stuck or they just can't see their targets. So I was like, I had enough of that. But yeah, so pretty much it's a plank of death. <laughs> That's what this is. So, uh, and let's go ahead and dock this bad boy here. I got him, got him moving out here so he doesn't run into anything. I found that's pretty good. 
So, yes, let's go ahead and stick them on this guy here. I like how we... I made up some space, too. So we got, uh... Alright, well, we... Where's this guy at? Hurricane... Select this vehicle. On! Alright, don't smash into anything, right? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. What a destroyer. Can't wait to use him. Zoo? Hopefully the new area will have some water, actually. I'm hoping. Kinda hoping. Alright, so we got our buzzard here done. Nice. Or remade. There you go. You're free. Oh, I wonder if we could put him up here. Let's see if this will work. Alright. Uh, click that buzzard. Where is the, uh, okay. Yeah, let's see. Select this vehicle. On. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Sweet. Haha. <laughs> Alright, yeah, and it just holds him up in the sky. That's so badass. Oh, I love it. I love it. He's just like ready to go. We'll have a whole ton of planes on top. Boats on the bottom. And that's how we roll, baby. That's how we do it. Yeah. Alright. So, no war yet. Onyx are still friendly with 25. That's good. Any assaults coming? Uh, no, they they doing pretty poor. So let's go ahead and check out 17. Let's check out this new land here. And, uh, yeah, and see what we can find there. I guess I'll take, like... I guess I'll just take our new ship here. Actually, heck with it. I'll build another one. <laughs> I'm just, like, going crazy. Let's build another one of those new ships. And we'll take two of those new ships. Two hurricanes, I call them. Uh, we'll take both of them to the, uh... To the 17 fights. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, here we go. We are here at the level 17 area. Getting ready to melt some faces off. Oh, and we're shooting right off the bat. Ah, ha, ha. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see what these missiles do here. Let's see what they do or to our... Oh, is that it? Is that it? What are we doing to this guy? Oh, he's gonna be, uh... He's gonna be, uh... Oh, he's actually doing alright. He's doing, uh... He's still... Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Um... Nah, I think he's gonna be dead. Alright, we got a higher priority over here. I'm gonna jump on out of the boat. Just so the camera doesn't move and we, uh... Oh, this balloon guy is gonna get it. That's for sure. Uh... Let's see here. Um... Yeah, he's getting it. <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, that flyer is pretty much disabled over there. Alright, is that, is that all who's here? Just this balloon guy and that? Oh, okay. Well, I guess this is a little test. It's a little test. I also have these guys circling their targets a little further now. Uh, minimum distance of 250. So, so that's good. It's better for like more flyers. If they were interested in this guy, they would move away from him and shoot him, but... Looks like they're making short work of this. I got all these armor-piercing rounds, AP rounds, going up at it. And they are doing some good work. Yeah, they're doing some good work. They're just, they're just like demolishing everything. They're not even like, they don't even need to aim for like, <laughs> look at that, they're just demolishing everything. They don't even need to aim for the sweet spots. They're just like, you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna blow you up, like, completely. Oh good, see, so now they're moving away, you see that? So 250 looks like a good range for minimum, for, for uh, at least those guns shooting at 600 range, something like that. Oh my gosh, they're gonna cut them in half. They're just like, you know what, we're gonna cut them in half, forget about it. We'll, we'll teach them a lesson they'll never forget. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like that guy just disintegrated. Okay, so he's done. <laughs> he's just going straight into the ocean. Thanks for the resources, suckers. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's just like... Hua! Oh, yeah! That's what I thought. I thought that was going to happen. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, he's still flying. What? <laughs> oh, this reminds me of like when we first tried to make my plane. Oh, I should have brought my plane on this fight. I totally forgot about it. Okay, I'll bring it to the next fight. So, uh, hmm, looks like we're kind of missing. This might be a good time to add on, uh, there's, there's these things you can add on to your ship called, um, called, uh, like, like, little laser target, what the heck are they called? They're like these little, uh, what the, where, where is it, oh, in the AI? No, in the shooting? There's something, some, oh yeah, yeah, uh, tracker laser, this thing. So if you put one of these on your ship, uh, what it is, is it'll track the speed, it, it'll feed your, uh, your, mainframe the speed and velocity or the velocity of your target so uh, you can shoot flying or fast things uh, a lot better a lot more accurately so I might I might go ahead and just like pop those on here I might just like toss them on like the front and on the back I might have like four of them just like all around uh, because I, I do know that they follow individual targets I might I might do something like that we'll see but we really don't need to do that now we're doing just fine <laughs> okay so what we got on the map here I'm also noticing that we're on the brink of war with someone else. It seems like the Onyx Guard are liking us for, uh, yeah, see, every time we, uh, defeat Deepwater, they like us more, the Onyx. 
But someone else is starting to... Oh, yeah, they ain't got nothing here. I say we just go straight here and just mop them out. Just wipe them out. Yeah, Steel Str Striders? No, Steel Striders like us. Who doesn't like us now? It's, uh, Diplomacy. It's the Twin Guard. We're on the brink of war with them. Seems like every Deepwater... Because they're friends with the Deepwater, right? Yeah, they're friendly, somehow. Oh. Oh, yeah, so, alright, so Deepwater's got some friends. I wonder how you make friends in this game. Can you just, like, click on someone? Oh. Oh, bribe to improve relationship. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know that. That is so cool. Oh, you mean I could be, like... You mean I could be, like... Oh, and you can declare war? And you can, uh... Oh, this is so cool. I didn't even... I didn't realize this. Oh, I'm such a noob. Okay. Cool. Well, if we find ourselves, uh... In a war that we don't like, we can go ahead and uh, bribe them, I guess. I guess it's the only way to, uh, right now, I guess, the only way to have people like you. And how's our oil resource doing here? Is it going down too fast? Now it seems to be... No, it's going up! It's uh, going down very slowly. It's actually, yeah, it's actually still going up even with these two ships. See, so now we got tons of firepower and more efficient oil usage. We're actually gaining oil from using these guys in combat still, so that is awesome. All right. Let's move on to the next areas, mop up some more of the town here. Hmm, this is the next area. It seems like when they said this is a uh, mountainous desert area, they weren't lying. So that's our plan there. I decided to bring the buzzard back into the fight. But it looks like we have a bit of a tight spot here. Let's see if we can go ahead and move these guys uh, over this away. You two, get over this away. Patrol, get over here. Very good, very good. And where's our buzzard at? Okay, he's going to be joining in. Let's tell him to patrol this little area here. Tell him to loop around there. All right. And so it's two balloon guys. Okay, I think we'll be all right. I think I'm just going to tell... Uh, yeah, I'll tell him to go stay in combat. Do it up. Just combat this stuff up. I don't think they're they're dumb enough to... Uh, and to go same for this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Combat, combat. Do it up. All right. Yeah, two balloon dudes. We could take them on. All right, uh, let's see, so... Wow, one's already dropped down. <laughs> I love it. So it seems like these um, these areas are still doable. It doesn't seem like you need... Uh, well, maybe the further inland you get, like the further to the center of the map you get, the more, like, like, like the less, less water there's going to be here. Because it said it's supposed to be 80% desert. So maybe that factors in more and more. Oh, let's see how our flyer does crap. <laughs> Don't... Oh, sweet. Okay, good job. Now get the heck out of there. Oh, what a what a bomber. What a bomber. Oh, that guy's awesome. He's just like, I got this. And our dude's over here just like wrecking it. Wrecking face. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, more explosions? <laughs> Dude, what are you doing, Mr. Fly Guy? Oh my gosh. Shoot, there's a mountain there. I don't think he's ready for this. I don't think I programmed him correctly for this. <laughs> well, it's better. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, it's better that we learn now. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. All right, he's dead to me. Okay. You're dead to me, you fly guy. I should probably... Uh, all right, well, he's got repair bots on him, so I think he'll be fine. All right, but... Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, something's exploding here. What, what's exploding? Which guy? That guy? That? Oh, this guy definitely exploded. He's, uh, he's just an empty hulk of himself. How's he still flying with one wing? That guy is totally bomb. All right. This thing is going to be cut in half. I can't believe how these armor-piercing rounds just cut straight through. Straight through any kind of hole here. I mean, look at this. He's literally... I think that's how we're going to beat him. He's going to get cut in half. Or something. I don't even think... Oh, my gosh. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Imagine if we have, like, another one of these guys. Look out. Oh, look, look. That's so cool. They're just, like... Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. We are, we are going to be unstoppable. Uh, famous last words. Where the heck did our flyer go? Oh, he's uh, like, <laughs> what is he doing? He's flying up into the lightning, into the storm. He's like, I will test you, gods. I will test you. Well, he's testing something. All right, well, uh, on to the next area. Right, we have moved over to the next zone over. There's one enemy here. I guess it's strength nine, but there's a resource ring here. I figured we'd go ahead and go for the, uh, for the resource area, even though there's no oil here, so I'm not really interested. Uh, I figure we just take this from them anyway. And, uh, let's see. And then just go straight down here and take them out. Just mop them up. And I wonder if we mop them up, if all their territories become ours. I guess we'll figure that out. Um, 
Let's check the diplomacy real quick as we're owning these people. Uh, let's see, let's see. So, brink of war. Okay, so those guys, because they're friendly with them, but a lot of other people, more people are liking us because we're killing these guys than people hating us. So, I'm cool with that. I'll fight you, Twin Guard. I bet you they, oh look, they're only, they're pretty, they haven't really expanded much. So that's cool. I'm cool with that. What we got going over here? Who is our enemy? Probably a little dinky... Yeah, that's a little dinky guy. Okay. Alright, on to the next area. I won't, I won't make you guys watch this. <laughs> Big fat ship. Versus. Tons of Daka. Yeah. Tons of shots coming in on him. Very soon. We are crashing our way into their homeland. Because they started this war. And, they are, and we are going to end it as victors. We are just flying through here. Smashing and crashing. We are completely surrounded, but we don't care, because, oh, and looks like they are sending support. They have just built up a 40 blob, and they're sending us a 40 blob. Well, we will take it on this episode. We will, we will intercept that, and we will smash it real good. Maybe I should bring another boat? I think we'll be good. If we can take on a 40 with these two boats, we should be able to take on an 80 with four of these boats, huh? How about them apples? Actually, I'm going to cut back just so you guys can watch this. We just started opening fire on this big juicy target. Let's see how these AP rounds and flyer shooting does against... Oh, see, this is awesome. I'm glad I didn't leave you guys out of this. This, is, this never gets old. Blowing up big fatties never gets old. This is like... Oh, man. It's just bound for... Yeah, there's an explosion. That's what I was just going to say. Bound for an explosion. <laughs> yeah, you do it up, plane. Blow them up. I think the plane did that one. Good job, man. Yeah, we rocking it. Got some air. Got some serious ground forces. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. There's like nothing left. It's like nothing left. It's just like an empty brain. Oh my gosh. We're going out. Uh, he's not even going to make it back for another run. This guy's going to be like... I think these guys, I think they like cutting things in half. <laughs> it's like... It's like because I guess the AP rounds, they go through a couple of different blocks like at once. I mean, they're aiming for, like, the brain, but they're like, whatever, like, just shoot, man. It's like, Mac, just shoot. Just just point that way. I'll, I'll press the button. Okay. You got it, Sarge. That's what they do. Okay, here we go. We got some more shooting coming from this side, shooting from that side. I swear, these guys are just having fun because they could have killed this guy a long time ago. All right, well, on to the, uh, on to the 40 attack. Okay, it looks like these guys just popped in on the map. And they just popped in all right here. They just came here to reinforce. Didn't get a countdown timer or anything. So they kind of they kind of just jumped right on top of our plane. Looks like he's going to bite the big one. Uh, unless he can escape. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, all right. Let's see here. Let's see if we can tell him to flee. Oh, he's getting, like, missiled and everything. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can... Actually, you know, maybe if we keep him in combat, he might do good. We'll see. We'll leave him in combat. He does have a couple repair bots on him, so I think he can pull out of this. I think, uh, see, oh, that's, that's more of like a fighter. He's more like a bomber. Oh, he doesn't even have any wings. Oh, this is going to be a tough... He's still flying, though. That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. Well, we'll let him... Uh, oh, it looks like he's going for a bombing run. That's what he's doing, because I made him go for long bombing runs. What's exploding? Oh, nice. So that was the guy that we destroyed from before, right over here. And here these guys are, so they decided to pop up right next to them to try and reinforce. They got a 40 strength attack going on here. It looks like they brought another one of these big fatties. And a balloon. Oh yeah, they're totally done. They're totally finished. We are going to mop them out. We are going to mop them up. We're going to go straight to their homeland, which is pretty much defenseless now since they just sent everything they had left. Our, <laughs> our pilot's doing some loops up there. He's having a good time. While our two hurricanes are doing some serious work. Yeah. Not running out of ammo or anything. They're generating, generating their whole, their own ammo this whole time. Is that, yeah, I think I still have it where they shoot for about three and a half minutes before they need to uh, like start reloading dramatically. So that's working out because this is a long fight. We didn't get a chance to move to any new zones. This is still the same zone. So, oh yeah, demolished. Look at this demolition, man. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm noticing two barrels side by side is definitely less accurate than just one. Because I guess the AI is... Oh. <laughs> but in this case, it doesn't matter. But I guess the AI is aiming down the middle. And obviously, two barrels from the, uh, from the apex is, is, uh, is not down the middle. But that's okay. I don't think they need to be super accurate. <laughs> uh, oh, you're trying to hide. You're a smart cookie. You're a smart cookie. Yeah, you are. You're just like... You're like, if I hide behind this big idiot, uh, then, then I can live like five seconds longer. 
Yeah, okay. Well, say your prayers. Say your prayers. Are we starting to run out of ammo or what? Nah, we're still shooting full force. Look at this crazy stuff. You guys can move up. Oh, I have them actually patrolling. Go ahead and go into combat. <laughs> oh, wow. They actually could be so much closer, even like messing them up even more. They're doing great. Where the heck's our plane at? Oh, there he is. What's he doing? Combat, right? Okay, cool. You do it, man. You do it up. Me, let me go take a peek at him while this oh, this guy. <laughs> he's not gonna be. So he's kind of look at this boss. He's got like holes in the wings and everything. He's like, I'm cool. Oh, his barrel's like totally busted too. He can't really shoot. Oh, oh, his gun is busted. Yeah, see that? His gun's not even there. That's why he's not shooting, or something. That makes sense. That's cool though. I think the repair bots are on the job. Yeah, there they are. I see them. I see those little repair bots. They're doing stuff. Okay, so he's just like keeping out of trouble, which is perfect. While our ground forces mop up stuff. Yep. Done. This guy. The last. The last of the little puny pipsqueak deep water guards is being finished. He's like, well. He's like, well, at least I still got my brain. Not for long. Boat. Yeah, okay. Alright, so. Looks like this episode is wrapping up as us demolishing the Deepwater Guard. Oh, this is cool. We'll have a strength 20 fight there, and then we will attack their homeland next episode. We will mop them up and see if we just end up getting all their uh, areas by default. That would be cool if we took that over. I've never fought, uh, I guess, a homeland before, so we'll see. I'm probably going to bring a few more hurricanes, maybe a few more buzzards, and we're going to go ahead and just, like, do an all-out assault on their fortress and see what we get. There might be treasures there. Who knows? There might be some awesome stuff. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.